The fact that Nadine Dorries makes uh, a case for Philip Schofield to be um, to, to have poor, if not bullying, behaviour in her opinion piece uh, this morning uh, and speculates on why he so suddenly left this morning. She thinks it will all come out in the wash. Uh, it's tough being interviewed live on TV as a politician, but most presenters are cordial and professional before filming starts. It was never like that, she said, with Schofield, who was always looking in vain for the gotcha moment, the clip that would go viral and propel him and his ego to the top of the day's news. Uh, she said that Hollaby should admit the truth about how she could not bear to fake it a day longer sitting next to Philip. Um, I must say, when... When you, when you get an opinion piece of that quality from Nadine Dorries, my tendency is to suddenly become very sympathetic to Philip Schofield. Eamon Holmes has also been quite brutal, um, not only to Philip Schofield, but also to Holly Willoughby. And um, but he, he's particularly drawn on the observation that uh, she was sad uh, that uh, he would no longer be sitting on the sofa next to her. Well, she wanted him not to be there, so what's she moaning about? Holly is being as false as he is, and nobody is talking about the elephant in the room. Uh, I think this drama will play out for a little bit, a little while longer. Um, Philip Schofield's departure has certainly not lanced the boil, if anything. It's, it's made it look even more festering.